It is time once again for the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Bank Tournament. Let's talk about where everyone is in our game of power play sports. Um, Little Red, Flush, Weasel, and Stubby, if I'm remembering correctly. It's only been a day since I played, but it, it takes a little bit to remember where everyone is um, because this is all the positional cues I get. They're all in one spot there. I don't, all the action is just happening downtown, maybe because downtown... Well, that's where the head is, but downtown also seems like you could have a lot of different things downtown, whereas the suburbs, there's not a lot in suburbs other than houses, really. Stadium, you got a stadium, so I guess you could you could picture what else would be near a stadium. High school, you got a high school, same thing. Um, in fact, I could see the high school being in the suburbs, but anyway, so where's everyone? Weasel, Stubby, Flush, Little Red, uh, as the in the body of the proprietor are in the upstairs of the curio shop. Uh, the the head is on the ground right now. No one's picked it up yet. Uh, Flush just killed Snugbug who had it, so I guess it's in his, his dead hands. Um, Stubby ran up and knocked out one of the cops. Weasel ran up and grabbed that cop's gun. There's still a cop up there, and there's more cops coming up behind Stubby and Weasel. Um, everyone else, where's everyone else? Well, Smiley, she is uh, downtown. Junior's downtown, Kaz downtown, they're just kind of outside. Um, Danimal, he is up on a roof, and that's, that's pretty much where we're at right now. Smiley already took her turn. She did a secret action, tucked it right under there. She did go inside the curio shop, though, as part of that action, but she didn't go upstairs, so no one saw what she did, but Little Red, for some reason, knows because he's the secret keeper of downtown. After Junior did some shopping, Kat, uh, she has a gas mask on uh, that she purchased during her shopping. She's going to walk into the curio shop with a, a gas bomb of some sort. Um, folks don't really know what it is, except for Little Red, because she did do the shopping downtown. Um, and she's going to ignite it and throw it upstairs. So there's gas coming out all upstairs, and it's just going to make things even more confusing. It's this white gas. Coming out of this canister uh, upstairs in the curio shop. Flush, what are you going to do about this? You've got police up there. You've got um, Weasel up there who just got a cop gun. And Stubby's got a pipe. There's that head you want. Do you try to grab it and make a, 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 a leave a leave for it? <laughs> I don't know. Let's see what you do. All right, Flush is going to dive behind a couch and shoot and kill Weasel. Weasel is going to say, no, that doesn't work. He ducks behind the police officer, and the police officer um, gets shot instead. That's what he's saying. So we are going to say, let's see, who's in favor of what? Um, Little Red is going to go in favor. I'm, I'm not going to do this on camera. I'm going to decide what the what it is off camera. So I have a little more time to think. There's a lot of pressure having to come up with these things on camera. And sometimes when my mind's not working as quickly, and I just want to kind of leisurely think about things. I'd rather not uh, verbalize my entire thought process, if you don't mind. I'd rather just take a moment and, and talk with the real people and feel what they want to feel and think what they want to think, okay? So just be patient. Well, we'll I'll get back to you soon. It'll, it'll feel like no time to you, okay? <laughs> Jeez. Okay, that actually didn't take that long, but uh, I think it'll still feel quicker to you this way. Uh, so how it broke down was Little Red said, uh, yes, he was in favor of flushed animals, in favor of flushed stubbies, in favor of weasel, smiley didn't care. Junior was in favor, favor of weasel. Cow was in favor of... Um, in favor of flush. Okay, so it broke down to a tie. So let's get our dice. Ooh. Um, one through threes go to weasel. Four, five, or six goes to flush. One of these two is going to get blasted. Wow, that was a lot of bullets on on weasel. That was four bullets on weasel. Those of you keeping score will know that Flush has killed three people now. Um, not that other people haven't tried, right? Like, there's several guns floating around, and there's other ways to kill people without guns, but Flush saw, shot Little Red, but Little Red was luckily a tortured soul, so he's okay. He shot Snugbug. He shot Weasel. Um, two of the murders were in the presence of the police. The police also have his description as a mannequin robber. So, and he's still carrying the mannequin around. 
Uh, there's that to think about. So Snugbug, he rolled a new character, a new mundane. And I wonder, you know, if you shouldn't maybe use this method when you are starting the game anyway, since the character you are, I mean, these, these guys have traits, right? Unsettling holds a grudge, but as long as you keep that secret, that's not going to be shown. So your own self isn't going to have any traits unless you define it somehow. So let's see if I can find Yeah, so here's these little tables here. You just roll it up. Roll two six-sided dice, and you get some traits to, to work with. Um, I think that's kind of a nice way to get a quick start in the game, but you can always... I mean, if you if you create your own character, then everything's you have to reality check all these different traits, and so it's just uh, easier to do that that uh, pre-made thing. So he's this buff bodyguard, and he might as well be downtown, right? Uh, and the buff bodyguard, some reason maybe he was Snugbug's nephew, and has really just like instantly taken up whatever his cause is, <laughs> and and so let's see what he does with that. He's a bouncer, not a bodyguard. I, I'm sorry. I, I was saying bouncer in my head, but I was saying bodyguard out loud. So he's going to propose that he has a gun. Everyone wants to have a gun. And, you know, why wouldn't a bouncer have a gun? Uh, some people say no. Some people say yes. I think more people are going to say no because they... Well, let's see. Smiley will say no. Junior will say no. He doesn't want to have a gun. Flesh will say no. Yeah, enough people would say no. I mean, it would make sense if he wants to have a gun, but no one else got to just automatically start with a gun. Let's roll for it. No, you don't have a gun. You have to come up with something else there, buff body, body bouncer. Body bouncer, buff body bouncer. Body bouncer. Body bouncer. Buff body bouncer. Let's see your muscles, buff body bouncer. Let's see your tattoos, buff body bouncer. Let's see your black shirt, tough body bouncer. Tight black shirt, buff body bouncer. Getting sweaty, buff body bouncer. Getting sweaty, buff body bouncer. Getting sweaty, buff body bouncer. Not sweaty enough. Let's dance. Buff body bouncer, buff body bouncer. Body bouncer, buff body bouncer. Buff body bouncer, buff body bouncer. Snug bug, snug bug, buff body bouncer. Now they did let him have Nux, a knife, cigarettes, and a lighter. Um, so he's got, he's a buff body bouncer is supposed to be a jerk. He's going to run up and um, do some violence. Specifically, he wants to do violence on the man who killed his former man, and that's Flush. So he's saying, you know, Flush has shot several people. He probably didn't kill them all in one shot, so he's, Flush is probably out of bullets. That's what Snugbug is suggesting. And so he's going to run up past the police. There's smoke, everything. Everyone's confused. And he's going to... Um, Tackle Flush and stab him in the neck to death. Um, Flush says, Flush, hmm. Now Flush has to kind of look at the odds here. Flush has a way that he can reveal himself and get out of this, no question. But what are the odds that someone is... See, if he reveals himself, he he's in big trouble. If the um the reaper is still out there because the reaper can kill whoever is revealed and two people have lost their roles one of them being snug bug mm. but snug bug's got these buff body bouncer traits flush doesn't think people are going to let him there's i mean there's already going to be a couple votes against him right little red and weasel doesn't think that he would win the fight in, if he doesn't do this. And so he'd be dead anyway. So he's going to reveal that he's the tank. And the tank is, is immune to physical harm. So um, he's going to stop him from, from stabbing him. And maybe kill him in return. I, I got to think if he can do that. I guess we said he could. Um, well, it does, he doesn't have super strength, though. He's just immune. So he'll beat him off. Oh, well, he gets to say what, what he thinks happens. So Buff Body Bouncer comes at him. He's like, tank! 
<clears throat> and the the knife does not hurt him. He doesn't fall down when when he tackles him. And um, ooh, here's what he'll do. He'll maneuver him so that the police bullets, because the police have been shooting this whole time, I guess. Uh, cause, yeah, cause he just, they, they told him to stop shooting and he's still shooting. So they're shooting at him and they're going to shoot the buff body bouncer is what he suggests. Um, people figure, well, Flush isn't going to die. And that was a good, good enough explanation. That seems feasible that someone would die from police bullets. Um, yeah, I think the majority is going to go in favor of that. Snug Mug's buff body bouncer is dead. Unfortunately, let's go on to Little Red. Little Red's gonna grab the head and run downstairs. I'm gonna rule he can't really do anything else other than that. Uh, there's enough people clogging the hallways of his apartment that it's gonna be enough to try to negotiate all of that. So he's downstairs at the the head, um, and he he did a somersault when he when he went um, when he went to the main room. He's not in the VIP room. He's in the front room of the curio shop, the one that opens to the outside. Now, Danimal's got a bit of a choice to make, uh, and that choice has to do with the, the conundrum that the other folks find themselves in. So we got Stubby and Weasel, and Flush, and Little Red all in the curio shop. Oh, and Smiley too. Flush is invulnerable for the next two rounds. Um, Danimal could eliminate Flush right now, but... He probably doesn't want to do that, especially since Little Red has the head, right? And Flush might be able to take it from him, and maybe he'll be able to get rid of some of these other competitors, um, not from play, but get rid of their powers anyway. So yeah, I think he's gonna, did he delay last time? He did delay last time. So he's gonna take a long action. So he'll take some time to think about that long action. That's okay, a long action is an important action. It's two turns worth of action. And Animal is going to use the, his long action to make another doll. So he has two dolls right now. People don't know about the first doll, I say. Um, that's a secret along with um, your identity. So now he has the potential to remove two superpowers from the game. Should be said, you can make a doll even if you're not the Reaper. Um, the the doll, I don't know if I explained this, the doll is what the Reaper uses to kill people. So he can't just do it willy-nilly. It, it, he has to do an, a long action, have a doll, um, and then kill someone. So he starts with the doll, now he has two dolls. That's, that's what I'm trying to tell you. He has more than one doll, he has two. So he can kill two people, one for each doll. So although Danimal could be lying about being the Reaper, just making dolls for fun. Stubby is going to take it seriously. He's going to make his way up to the roof. Now I ruled that finding the roof was an action because you have to find the way up there. And so uh, he did that. Uh, and when Danimal did it, it was also an action. That was his action. Let's enjoy the process of Weasel getting his new fellow together. Uh, 34. You can see all the exciting things you can be if you manage to die in this game. Um, 34 is a pilot. He has a small plane, he's a pilot, he enjoys a nice scotch, and he's a war veteran. Wow. He can do some great stuff with that right now. He's probably in his small plane right now, I imagine, don't you? Yes. Yes, he is. No, he isn't. But he is a war veteran, so he reckons he probably has a gun. He knows how to use guns. Why wouldn't he have a gun? Just in case, you know. Um, there are some people who are for that. I think they will say, yes, he can have a gun. So he has a gun, and he'll probably try to shoot someone with it. It's probably what's going to happen. Um, but first, I have to write down that he has a gun so we know that. Right now, it's written down that he has a cop gun, but that's not the kind of gun he has. He has, like, an old... Vietnam gun. It's not going to be violent. Instead, he called the operator, and the operator is going to get someone to buy his small plane. He's, he's done flying. He's done enough flying in his days, and he'd like to just have a quiet life on the ground like regular folk.